All right, when you hold a whip in your hand, who do you wish you were? Oh, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> the modern road learns how to crack whips. All right, Murphy, you want to crack whips? Yes. Then this is the man, John Maverick. That is loud. Oh. And it's just so effortless. Those are tiny sonic booms. That is correct, sir. The tip of the whip is traveling at at least twice the speed of the rest of the whip. It's the tiny tip of this magnificent monster going over 900 miles an hour. 900 miles an hour? Whips in general really have four parts. Got the handle to start off with. Then this long part right here is called the thong. Then back here, this long straight part is called the fall. And then finally you're left with the cracker. So what's going on really simply is the kinetic energy starts on my shoulder, uh -huh. coming up, making a wave that goes down. The handle keeps it rigid. The thong, if you notice, gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And as it goes down the thong, it speeds up, 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 because there's less resistance. The fall is where it really gets all of its speed. The fall just zooms forward, and then down here at the cracker, this little guy just gets so fast that it just breaks its number. You're, you're not using a lot of force no. either. When you start off, you're gonna be out there, you're gonna be trying to muscle it. Yeah. Two things are gonna happen. You're gonna hit yourself in the face. The other thing, if you muscle it, you're gonna get tired. It's a lot like card throwing, right? And as a magician, you know that, that it's one of those things where it's more of letting it whip out at the end. Totally, this is the forward whip. Okay. It's the forward crack, as they call it. There's the overhead, which I'm not gonna do right now because it's smack both the guys in the face to do it. Going forward like that, that's more what you see a lot of movies. The old do west, it. right? The old west, boom. They're not whipping the horses, they're cracking the whip right, right over the horses. You don't wanna hit the animal. You don't right. wanna damage your livestock. You wanna just make that cracking noise. Scare them. Scares me. Yeah. <laughs> if we back up, can we see an overhead? Sure, or? duck. Okay. <laughs> wow! That is so much louder. Yeah, it's got more force to it. Wait, uh, okay, okay do, do, do it again. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna say it now. Up. When it's like this, you know I'm not gonna whip okay, it. Okay. Okay. Talk us through the history of whip cracking on stage as a variety art. As far as I know, it goes to a lot of your Western arts. Roy Rogers, all those guys, always had a whip cracker with them. You're out on the range, you're driving cattle, you got a whip, and there's not much else to do. It's a bit like being a prisoner, you got nothing but time. Right. So it's uh, throw knives and play with the bullwhip. So these two skills got really big, and it's entertaining to watch someone make sonic blooms let's, from their hands. Let's see your uh, best tricks. So this is a John Maverick patented bullwhip target. It's a really cool piece of spaghetti. The most common trick that people would do is either to hold it in their hand themselves or get someone else to hold it. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, okay. That's yes, that's ow my eye. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah, this is, I'm casting a spell. I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> just gonna nip the tip. Wow. There we go, right there. Wow. Have you ever hit someone's hand? No, I have never hit <laughs> anyone. Uh, well, here, we can, we can keep going a little bit with that. I'll just keep going until you get nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else you got? What else you got? Well, right. knocking out of your hand is easy because I've got nothing to worry about. It's no danger. We're gonna make it a little bit more dangerous. I'm gonna take this one, place it behind my own back. We'll just be over here. Wow. <laughs> here, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold that right there, just so we can measure it out. No, 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 no. You got this. It's different when you're looking right at it. Oh, I know. <laughs> he didn't even warn you. I didn't even see it. <laughs> My eyes closed. That was a thing. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one I always measure out. I go. <laughs> terrifying. All right, walk us through the fundamentals of cracking a whip. First, what not to do. Perfect example of what not to do is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade when River Phoenix was the young Indiana Jones. Comes up, there's a line in front of him, he goes like this, and he comes back, smacks him right in the face. That's the first thing anyone ever does. Is that just because we all do that with towels? You see someone do it on TV, it looks like they just take their hand and go like this, mm -hmm. because chances are the person on TV is just doing this. Yeah. They're not getting a lot of training. So what we're gonna do, we're going to bring our arm up to 12 o'clock but we're gonna bring it up with abruptness so that the whip goes all the way back. Okay. Aiming to Thinking nine mermaid hair. Perfect. That's what came to my mind as well. Arm goes to 12. Whip goes to nine. Goes nine. And then you're gonna bring your arm straight out to three. How much of it is timing? That is the timing right okay. there because you gotta wait for the whip and then go. I have to break 30 years of bad habits. Uh, Lash LaRue was one of the first big Western bullwhip artists. Yeah. He got his interview and they said, do you know how to use a bullwhip? He said, sure. Went to a pawn shop, bought two bullwhips, learned how to use them over the weekend. He had to wear long sleeves his first day shooting. Because he was <laughs> covered. Because he was so beat up. I am surprised I don't have scars going across my face from learning. Oh, that's terrifying. That's why we got goggles for you guys. Although we have two whips, we're going to do this one at a time. Yeah, right. Jason, go for it. Okay. Look at you. Kinda. 
Oh, oh, you're, you're going you're off to the side. Okay. Like, do everything straightforward. You're going to aim at my face. Uh, it's really just a timing issue for you. You've only, you got the motion down pretty well. It was a little bit too long. You waited too long. It told you. That's oh! it. Oh! Yes. Yes. Uh, I'll try it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yes. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. That was. That was good. That was good. All right. All right. There you go. Aha! There you go. Nice. Yeah. Aha! Nice. That's go it. faster, John. <laughs> Teach faster. Yes. All right. What else you got? You want to do the um, overhand, the, yeah. the loud one? Heck yeah. When I first learned it. There was blood. Marks across the face, uh, nicked my ear once. It's actually the almost exact same motion, except over here, it's on top of you. Arm comes to three, whip goes to 12, you go to nine, right? Now, some people do like to do the wind up. And this one is louder, simply because your body has more momentum. Yeah, go for it, no, it's, it's you, go. I'm gonna just be way over here. Okay. That was all, yeah, that, that was, was pretty much it. Yeah. That was pretty much it. You're doing all wrist, don't do wrist. Okay, so arm out. That's it. Nope. This arm isn't going in a full circle. It's going half circle, half circle. So it's like here, here. Yes. That's oh, it. that was amazing! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> oh, powerful! I just grabbed a freaking table! That was great. Yeah. <laughs> this is not going to go as well. No. Nope. Oh, oh. <laughs> that hurt. That's, that's, uh, why we, uh, that's why we have that eye protection. No good. Yes, oh man. my god, that hurt. <laughs> that looked bad. You came around and you got to here, mm -hmm. and then you went like that. Oh, that's no good. And so bring it all the way around and keep it up. You want to go over your head, not yeah. through your head. Oh! There you go. You're getting over and then you're going down. Oh, yeah. Get over Straight and up. then go back. Perfect. Okay, yeah. And <laughs> whap. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm giving timing notes. And now. Yeah! You came back. Two double high fives. That was back. amazing. Yes. Am I bleeding? Yeah. No, no. You're in great shape. You look awesome. I need one impressive party trick to do with a whip. I'd say the easiest thing for what you've already learned is the one behind the back. That's counterintuitive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you're really not hitting the target. You're putting the target in the way of the whip. It's not like the spaghetti bursts at the very tip of the sonic boom. Right. If I may. Yeah, please. I'm gonna hit it with that part of the whip there. The sonic boom happens way out there. So at speed, it's. This uh, one's you. Yeah, uh, yeah I was this about one's to say. you. I'm poking this as far as I can out to the side. Turn around, you wanna be able to see it too. So look over your shoulder, kinda aim over this way. Okay, so the farther to the right I aim, the farther to my left behind me it goes. Yeah. Exactly. All right, here we go. Yeah! Yeah! That's it! Whoa! Well done, Woo! sir. Thank you so much, John Maverick. Yeah, time for me to hit those old byways and eat some spaghetti. Right. The Alfredo boy. <laughs> the, the Alfredo kid. <laughs> <laughs>